So a lot of things have happened while trying to get ready for import face-off, and the worst has pretty much come upon me. I exploded a transmission. I do not have reverse as of right now, so I have another transmission that I'm pulling off of the NASR. I'm trying to get the bell housing swapped over right now, I'm trying to get it all figured out. But the car is all one piece ready to go, ready for import face-off, and this shit show just kind of happened. But I got the friends over so you can kind of see what's going on out here. My hands are too dirty for the cool camera. <laughs> So we're trying to get this figured out right now of why this isn't coming off. You got until the battery dies. It's running. <laughs> so, no, check it. We out in this bitch working on some transmissions. You know why this is fucked up? Because you should have bought a fucking Honda. Anyway, anyway, this shit better be on fucking YouTube where the fuck Frank went. <laughs> so Frank, what happened here? <laughs> Trying not to call the cops right now. <laughs> so I came super hard out of reverse into first. And when I did that, um, it made a really weird feeling and a noise. And now I don't have reverse. And it doesn't like coming out of gear. So uh, we got this other thing that likes going in and out of gear. So we're going to try to put it in. Let's... So things escalated quickly. So when we were trying to drop the trans, we figured out that the transmission cannot go far enough backwards to clear the clutch and the pressure plate. So we have to lift the engine up and give it some tilt so we have enough room to pull the transmission out. So I'll update you guys when the transmission's out. It's out! So after a long night, we did get the trans out. Um, we got the trans off the NASR20. We separated the bell housings from each other and got the new bell housing on the good gearbox. So that's the bell housing modified for the 1UZ swap, the good gearbox. We compare and contrasted each other. There were quite a few issues with this other one that uh, that didn't have reverse. There's tranny fluid all over the place. The engine's just sitting on the cross member, not actually bolted down. I'm gonna start busting on this tomorrow and I'll update you guys then. Now we're gonna teach the chat. Okay, so we've gotten to the point where the transmission is inside of the car. Mitchell's trying to quietly use an impact. <laughs> We have Corey doing very small, tedious, like eighth inch turn work on one of these transmission bolts that I did not want to do. He was also the one that uh, cleaned out the sandwich plate on the transmission that I am using. The uh, sandwich plate separated on both sides and needed to be cleaned and re-RTV'd. He, he sat down for like a fucking hour doing it because I never would have, so thanks for that. Got Mitchell, state your purpose. <laughs> Yo, boy. <laughs> So we're just getting the rest of the transmission bolts in, and then uh, we can just start piecing things back together from there. So far, so good! We just dropped the car down when it was up in the air. We ran through all the gears, and wheels spun just fine. Didn't hear any weird noises. We're about to go for our first test drive and uh, make sure this transmission's working like it should. Car is back together, and everything is good so far. So hopefully, in the next clip, we'll be at import face-off. Actually, before we go to import face-off, I'm going to show you what the car looks like all loaded up. So normally when I go to events, I have somebody go with me that has a hatchback car or a truck, and I load all my stuff mostly into their truck or car, so I can save as much room in the car as possible, because normally I take somebody, so somebody rides in my passenger seat. Well, this event, I wanted to see if I could uh, put my skills in test and see if I can get everything loaded in the car without any help. So I'm trying to make it to the event tomorrow with absolutely no one needing to follow me and everything on my own. And it, I, I did it. <laughs> Spare tire, lawn chair, all of my tools, everything that I'm going to need, my jack, jack stand, everything. And the trunk will be able to close easily. I have this massive tent that I used at the last event, another lawn chair, <laughs> my scooter, <laughs> And then back here is loaded. <laughs> so I'm fully loaded up, ready to go. And the car's leaking a little bit of coolant and dripping a little bit of transmission fluid, but I don't have time for that right now. I need to get to this event. So the event's tomorrow. Let's party. See you then. We made it. The car successfully made it to import face off. Everything's so far so good. I already went out and did one lap. Uh, we kind of changed the course up a little bit. It's a lot more narrow, so you have to pretty much get your line right or else you'll fuck up completely, which I like. The car actually feels fucking amazing. Like, for an eyeball alignment and after the crash and everything, the car actually feels really good. So, it's just a matter of linking the whole course now. For some reason, I only brought one SD card, so I'm not going to be able to switch back and forth. 
between the big DSLR and my GoPro. So I'm mostly going to be filming GoPro today, so I'll get ready to go off for another lap. For the second run, that was actually pretty good. I threw way too much angle at it a few times, but I was able to connect everything, and that's a lot of fucking fun. That entry is really fun, too. I'm going to go cruise around and talk to some friends, and I'll get back in the car and start filming some more. And hopefully, if I can remember, I actually have a mounting point, if you could see, right there for a GoPro to get a second perspective of what it looks like in here. If I can remember to use that, I'll try to get a few clips with it. But Today is going to be fucking fun. <laughs> Not nearly as bad as I thought it was. We we know we, it was a solid collision. This is after pulling it back out. I did hit Scotch's bash bar, so it pushed in my fender pretty good. This is a fresh fender too, so I'm kind of sad. But <laughs> tie rod doesn't seem to be bent. Nothing else seems to be bent. Alignment still seems to be okay. So I'm gonna chill for a little bit longer and then uh, start doing some more runs.
have an issue. I blew my high pressure line, so I took all of my power steering shit apart, so I have absolutely no power steering. So I have no idea how this is going to go, so wish me luck. That sucks. Okay, so before the, I thought that I didn't have power steering, I definitely did because this sucks. Making small corrections is fucking horrible. That sucks. No power steering sucks. Dude, you ripped it, man. That was badass. Oh, it's such a workout. I know. <laughs> One more. One more. Oh, fuck. Something's broke. Oh, man. Uh, all right, so we are back out for our last few laps. Not sure how it's going to go. I'm really tired. Well, let's go.
completely packed back up. I had my entire pit loaded into the 240 and I'm loaded back up, ready to go home. It has been quite the day. I don't have power steering. A stud stripped out of my head. I crashed. It's been a rough day. But that's gonna end it for me today. Hopefully I will be making it to NMSTL next weekend and I'll make a video on that. So until then, I'll see you guys later.